equipped with powerful anti-aircraft guns and state-of-the-art submarine hunting technology. She's one of the most up-to-date ships in the Royal Navy. Considerable modifications were made to her superstructure. She was given a large number of new radars, communications equipment, and she was converted into a very significant command ship. In the quiet of the morning, HMS Lawford is already hard at work. The Allies have secured the coast. The enemy is nowhere in sight. When suddenly, there's a huge explosion. And a short time later, HMS Lawford is gone. The Allies are dumbstruck. The mystery of the Lawford makes her a priority for the survey team. When she's located in 70 feet of water, divers go in, looking for clues. James Delgado runs the dive from the bridge. Dan, Dan, this is topside. Do you read us? Roger, topside. We are on bottom. And the ability is pretty bad. Yeah, and you're able to look inside? I'm going inside now. They discover an unusual clue. A set of tubes, or narrow gun barrels. Their purpose is another mystery. It's time to look more closely. Combining the dive team's findings with the latest multi-beam scan data, we can start to remove the waters off Juno Beach. As the Bay of the Seine slowly empties, it reveals a shocking crime scene. The Lawford is in three pieces. The bow and the stern are over 300 feet apart. A sea mine is unlikely to cause this type of shattering damage. So what could have? At the bow, the set of tubes found by the divers is revealed to be a hedgehog a weapon system that can fire 24 mortars at a time over attacking U-boats. But the Hedgehog is not loaded. It could be that the mortars were fired too late to avert a sneak torpedo attack. Or that it was never loaded in the first place. But a torpedo seems unlikely. The Allies had blocked all U-boats from the area since D-Day. And the damage on the wreck suggests something more powerful than even the biggest German torpedo. It's the kind of damage expected from a thousand pound bomb. At the stern of the HMS Lawford, boxes full of unused ammunition are discovered. The Lawford hasn't even fired her guns. So whatever got her was a total surprise and was not spotted by the ship's advanced early warning systems. The team believes that leaves only one suspect a high-tech Nazi wonder weapon. Developed in secret by German scientists for the past four years. A Henschel HS-293 
glide bomb. It's what in modern pilots is called a standoff bomb. They basically enable German pilots to launch their weapon out of range of anti-aircraft gunfire, away from marauding fighters, and they can launch these bombs and guide them into place through radio control. Operated by remote control, the HS-293 guided missile is almost impossible to stop. And accurate enough to home in on its target's weakest spot. aimed directly at the engine room. The 1,100-pound bomb causes a massive internal explosion, killing 37 men instantly. HMS Lawford never stood a chance. <laughs> 